Welcome to Nightingale, a steampunk themed survival adventure set in the 1800s. Today, we're diving headfirst into the world of building as I guide you step by step through getting your first building blueprints and exploring the building mechanics together. We're also going to craft an easy starter house that's sure to inspire your own creations in this intriguing world. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that like button, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe for more content like this. It's completely free and it will help me out tremendously. Now without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Nightingale with me, Lowe's at Lance. Now, I have been playing the game for a little while now with uh, my follower Leon. This is Leon. Hi Leon. I'm going to show you how to craft a very easy and simple starter house for you and your follower. We're also going to go through how you get the building schematics nice and easy and then we're going to build the house. So let's get to that now. So first of all, you're going to need to unlock the blueprints. So how do you unlock the blueprints? Well, let me show you. If we go to our start menu here and on the guidebook, we're going to go across to traders. Now here, you can see every trader in the game, where they are and who they are. So if we go to say, I don't know, Desert Provisioner Essence Trader and we open that shop, this is going to show you everything that they offer. So they offer some firearms, blueprints for a firearm, blueprints for clothing, blueprints for this shirt. No building materials here, so maybe this isn't one I'd want to go to. If I go to the forest antiquarian and we go down to storage, we can see we get a weather trunk and also a bed blueprint. There's also buildings that we can unlock here, so second story set and advanced roofs. And it shows you how much it costs for each. So when you know which one you want to go to, all you've got to do is craft yourself a card. Now, you craft your cards in the simple enchanter's focus once you've unlocked this. And then you just need paper and ink to craft whatever card you need. But how do I get paper and ink, I hear you ask? Well, one way is to use the simple saw table to make paper and to use the mortar to make ink. Now, the way I've been doing it is very simple. On the map, you want to go to the Antiquarian Site of Power, and that's where the Essence Trader is on your home world. Oh my god, Leon, I don't want you chopping down trees. Okay, so we are at the Antiquarian Site of Power here, and this is where we can find the Essence Trader now. I'm going to speak to the essence trader here and I'm going to go down to item consumable potion. Now there's a bit of a cheat method at the moment to get quite a lot of dust. This is dust down here in the bottom left. Um, so I'm going to buy some water bottles here. So you, you, they only cost 10 dust each. So I'm going to buy a little bit of this. Like so. And then when we go into our inventory here and click on the water bottle. We got 100 at the moment, so I'm gonna extract that. And oh my God, a thousand dust? Yes, please. So this is broken because at the moment you buy the water bottle for 10 dust. This gives you four water bottles. When you go to extract the essence, you get 40. So you buy it for 10, but you sell it for 40. So basically you have unlimited essence. So that's how you do that. Now, if we go back and speak to him again, I'm going to go on resources and I am going to buy some ink and paper. So these are the two things you need to craft cards. So this is a very easy way of getting it. So you could just buy it like this and buy it like this. Um, because of this glitch at the moment, it's very easy to get. They've definitely overlooked that little detail. So just so you know, in order to unlock the cards, say you want to go to an astrolabe uh, realm, well, you're going to need to find your Astrolabe Site of Power on your map. Um, now, I haven't unlocked all of them. I've only gone up to Astrolabe. So, here's my Astrolabe Site of Power. So, I'd have to go there, complete the dungeon. And completing that, you will unlock the Astrolabe Blueprint. Which means you can go to your Simple Enchanter's Focus, and then you should be able to craft your Astrolabe card. Look at that. Very easy. 
It's important to note that you can just unlock the cards by completing the quest line. It will take you to those sites of power naturally. So just follow the quest line and you will unlock them. So with the building, you just need to get to your building menu. So on keyboard, that's B. And if you're using controller, you need to press down on your D-pad and then up on your D-pad. And that brings you to your building menu. Now, from here, I'm going to open up and get my first foundation here. Now, this works very much like if you've ever played the forest or seen people play the forest. You put the blueprints down and then you gather the materials to build it. So, I could literally build the entire house now out of blueprints. <laughs> and then put it in the materials later. So, I'm going to put down the blueprints now and we're going to work out how this house is going to look. So you have a lot of options here when you come to place your first foundation. You can spin it around. And my favorite thing is you can go all the way up. <laughs> Look how high you can go. This is just insane. Let's try this out because I haven't actually tried this out yet. I want to see how far I can go. Wow, it just keeps on going. Okay, that there. That is absolutely insane, isn't it? Christ on a bike, that is huge. <laughs> so if you wanted to, you could build that high up. Um, you definitely need some stairs going up to it though. So let's, let's just get rid of that now. Okay, let's say roughly here for our starting block. Leon, do not get in my way, buddy. Okay, so roughly there. And then we're going to go out one, two, three, four. Then we're going to come out this way by one, two, three, and one, two, next to the three we just put down. And then we're just going to go out by two again here. Now next to this, we're going to put some stone down because I want to have like a little patio area out here. In fact, the patio area honestly might go around the entire build here. And as you can see, Leon, if he's got the uh, if he's got the the stone in his inventory, he will build. So, okay, we're gonna go all the way around this build now, like so. And once you filled it all in, it should look something like this. So this middle section here is going to be the house, don't forget. So this is where we're going to be building now. So I'm going to put in a stone window right here. And on the other side here. So this middle section here is going to be the house, don't forget. So this is where we're going to be building now. So I'm going to put in a stone window right here here and on the other side here i'm also going to put a stone window on the opposite side here and on the opposite side here and why not let's have two more windows here we're also going to need a door frame in and we're gonna need the walls in as well so let's place all of those in and another doorway just at the back here. So you're going to have two exit and entrances right here. So I'm also going to want to put some flooring above us because we're going to have a two-story house. So I'm going to use the wooden flooring for this. And we're just going to place it all in at the top here. Now this is the only bad thing about... <laughs> Not having a creative mode is I've got to go get all the resources myself. So I need stone. And Leon, you need to help me, buddy. Can't do this alone. Come on, you get this rock here. Come on, Leon, stop slacking. I'm paying you for this. That's it. Good boy. And then when you've added all your materials in, it will look like this. So you've got the first part of your house here. Now for the second part, we're going to be using wood. So I've got a simple wooden window here, a crude wooden window. And we're going to place it just below the stone window. Oh my god, Leon, you're in my face. Do you mind? One there. One here. Two up the back here. One up here. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. 
Now I'm going to place the solid walls. So we're going to put one here. One back here. In fact, three back here. And one here. Now it's going to be a little bit hard for me to work on the rest here. So I'm actually going to put some stairs in down here. So let's get the stairs out. So I think I want the stairs going up this way here. So we're going to place the stairs right there. Let's add the resources in. There we go. The stairs are in. And it's actually also built all of the wood up here as well, which is fine. We're also going to need to break this right here. So if I just remove this, there we go. Lovely. Now we can get upstairs. And I've just seen I've made a huge error up here. <laughs> The windows are the wrong way round. That is not good. Nevertheless, this is quite an easy fix. We're just going to remove this. Pick up the, the wood. Remove this. And remove this. Now I just need to make sure it's facing the right way. There we go. So you can rotate these by just pressing left or right. There we go. And again here, there we go. Let's add in that material. Amazing. So here, I'm actually thinking this could be like a little decking area out here. So I'm going to put in a door here. Okay, I'm not sure why, but it's not letting me put my door here. I don't know what's going on here. I'm actually going to... Let's delete this. And let's see if it lets me place it now. That is very strange indeed. It will let me place it on the outside, just not the inside. So, I have a solution here. Let's go down. I am way down right now. <laughs> Here's what I'm thinking. If we add in a stone wall here, and we build said wall, and then if we go upstairs and try and place this back down again, will it work now? Oh my god, it's raining so heavy. Yes, it will. Okay, so that's how you do that. Okay, we are learning. Let's put this window back in. Lovely jubbly. And a wall right here. Okay, the wall won't go in either. Ah. That's really annoying. So we're going to have to put a door in here. And this is going to have to be a little room. <laughs> okay, I'm also wondering if I delete the stone wall down here, will that door break? Let's try that out now. So I'm going to delete that. And what's happened up here? Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. So that that's fine. Fantastic. Okay, we got an upstairs area now as well. So now we really need to put a roof in because we are getting rained on right now. So let's put in a roof. So to do a roof, we're going to need to use the crude half gable end. And we're going to place one up here and the other next to it, just like that. Now I'm not 100% sure how this is going to work and look good at the same time. Let's first of all try and use the gable end here. If this doesn't look good, I'll just change it afterwards. So we're going to put that in there. And then we're going to put the roof on top. So where's the roof hiding? So we want the crude angled roof is what we want. So let's put this in on this side. And on this side, will it let me? Please. There we go. Uh, ah, okay. So we're not going to put it in there. We're going to stop there. We're going to put it in here, though. Is this going to look good or bad? I wonder. It may have to be different on this side. Okay, there we go. And again, right there. Okay, so before I go ahead and do anything else, let's just see how this is going to look. Yeah, okay. Well, unfortunately, we're going to have to change this side of it on the left. So if we come back up... I accidentally just built the entire thing. Uh, that's the only thing. If the blueprints are all connected, you're going to end up building. If you just press add materials, it will add to the entire thing. So I'm going to delete this up here, though. That, this, this, and that. Okay, so instead of doing the gable ends here, we're actually going to use corner pieces. So let me find the corner piece in here. 
I believe it's this one, the cruder hipped roof. So if I'm going to place this down, like so, and like so there, and like so there. So we've got corner pieces in that corner and that corner. Now up here, this one's going to be a little bit different. We're going to need a piece called the crude roof valley. And if we place that in, it will place in. There we go. Now if I add the wood, look at that. Let's see how it looks from the outside. Oh yes, what a smart looking little house. And over this side, how is it looking from this angle? Cute. I'm loving it already. Okay, so we're, we're making progress here. That is good news. We are making progress. I've just gone into first person mode to make this a little bit easier for, for us. I think third person mode was messing me up a little bit. So I've unlocked a piece called the Crude Kerr Awning. Now I think, if I'm not wrong, yeah this is like a lower floor awning. So I could connect it to this and we could have an awning out here. So I could do it in front of the door here. Like so. Let's see how this looks. Ooh, okay. So we got a little awning for the front door. So on this side, it's a bit bare at the moment. I'm thinking we just put in a little tiny awning on this side. On the front side here though, we definitely want an awning in front of the door just to make it look that much nicer. So if we just put it here, the right way around like so. I still don't know what's going to happen over this side yet, so we're just going to leave it as is for now. Let's move on to the back of the house or the front of the house, whichever way you see this. Let's say this is the back of the house. I need some stairs going up to this, don't I? So let's add in some stone stairs. There we go. We've got a way to get up to the building here, which is what we need. So I'm thinking I'm actually going to place a bit more stone here going out so it connects into the grass like this. There we go. We got a nice floor in now. The sun is shining and it's looking fantastic. Okay, with that, minus the decking out here that we don't know what we're doing with yet. I, I'd say that's done. It's a nice, simple looking house. We're going to add in the stuff from outside here. We're going to put inside. So let's do that now. Okay, everything that was on the outside is on the inside. That's just all my workstations in here. So that's mainly what the bottom floor is going to be used for, honestly, is uh, just the workstations. But the upstairs, we are going to have our bed up here. So I have recently unlocked this crude railing. So I'm thinking of putting some railing around the staircase here so people don't fall down. That's quite a nice feature. And if we wanted to, we could block this off into different sections. Um, we could also block it off into different sections here as well, honestly. Let me get the railing out again and block it off there like that. Then we've got like a nice little crafting area in here. So this is all my sewing stuff, I believe. Sewing, sewing, mortar. Um... I mean, we could do the same thing over here. I don't want to block it off too much, is the only thing. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to go into super fast build mode now, because I'm not really sure what I want to do with the interior here. So I think it's best for me to just go into super fast build mode, and I'll see you once it's all finished.
Okay, we got like a nice table and chairs here. We've got a shelving unit, a uh, shelf and a trunk here. And then of course we got our beds here. Now we do need a bit of lighting in here, so we need to work out what lighting we want. I've actually got quite a lot of lighting unlocked, so let's look at our options. Now this one seems cool, an antler chandelier. Let me see this one. Oh, that's... That's cool, but it's very high up there. Maybe we can put it down here instead. Oh, no, it won't let me. Are you kidding me? I bet it's because you can't put it on the uh, wood. Well, that makes me sad. Honestly, the only one I can really make right now is the simple hide sconce. So let's make the simple hide sconce here. Let's put in a light either side of the bed here and then either side of the door then one there let's put one over here somewhere one around here somewhere maybe just there then if we go down let's place them all around here as well Okay, the lighting is all in and built, and I've also built the furniture, so this is all looking pretty nice now. Now, while it's raining outside and looking miserable, we better as well continue with adding a few little details to the interior. Now, if I look here, you can see that I've got candles unlocked, so I'm going to actually add in some candles to the shelf here. Let's add in a couple of candles here and there. Add in a table lamp to the table. And why not put a lamp at the top here? I've also got a plant pot unlocked, which is kind of fun. So let's add in a plant pot to the top here, if it lets me. It does. Will it let me add it to the shelf? Will you let me add you to the shelf? It won't. That sucks. Let's put uh, another plant down there now with these augments they're basically upgrades for your say like your sewing bench I've just added a coat rack here and that connects to this and gives it a buff so that's what these do but they also act as decorations so I'm gonna add another coat rack over here okay I've got stuff in here for the workstations I've added in a hand panner a toolbox a basic sawhorse there and up here if I added anything I'm not sure I think I've got some plant pots up here as you know and the simple map also a lot down here in the survival section I've got a plant box a rain barrel and a stick tent now I'm particularly interested in the rain barrel and plant box so I think I'm going to put a rain barrel out here somewhere. And then I'm going to place a plant box next to this if I can. Maybe two. And we should be able to add some seeds to this and it should grow. Okay, that's it for the decorations for now. I think we'll just leave that right there. I think we need to come back to this because we've got to do something with this. And what I'm thinking here is maybe just adding a little fence around this. So if we add the railing all the way around this like that, then people can't fall off. I think that will work. And we can put maybe like a table and chairs out there or some plant boxes. We'll see. So yeah, I think this is looking pretty good for a starter house at the moment. I think... I think we're going to finish it up. I'll finish it up now off camera and I'm going to get back to you with the finished result. How about that? So I'm going to go ahead and do that now and I'll see you after some cinematic shots.
Welcome back everyone and the house is all complete. To be honest, I haven't really added much uh, since you last saw it. I literally, I think I might have added these lampposts outside. Um, let's have a look at what we've actually added here. Lampposts, we put those rain bells in together. I had something called a spit roast, so I put it out here as a little feature, although it's just a load of twigs together. Doesn't look like much of a spit roast to me. Uh, we got the plant pots we put in earlier. The house from this side is looking fabulous. I mean, this the objective of this video wasn't really to do a starter house tutorial. It was more to look at the building mechanics, and we did look at that as I was building it. So that's what the main objective was. So I do hope that it has helped. Let me take on inside, though, because I did move some stuff about. So over here, I tried to make this area more like a kitchen. I've kind of got my mortar and pestle, my... My boiler here, my campfire, and then on this side I've got my sewing machines and my upgrade bench. So, yeah, like a nice little kitchen area. Over here, I decided to put in a table and chairs rather than to have the campfire in the middle. I think this works a lot better. I had some candles, and what's this on top? I'm not really sure what... I have no idea what some of these augments are. A formula board. But they all augment to, you know, different uh, workbenches in your house. So do make sure that they go to the right one, that they're near enough to the right one so that it does buff it. Down here we got our smelter and our brazier. And over here our simple workbench and our leather work. So quite a nice little living area here. In here we have our storage zone. Just a nice little room to keep all your storage in. Obviously I wasn't intending to have a room there but I needed to so I could put the walls above it so if you do run into that issue just remember that you just need walls underneath if you want to do something similar to what I've done if we head on upstairs we got the upstairs living quarters here I decided to put my enchanters focus up here to be honest this has stayed exactly the same as when I did it for you guys uh, earlier so nothing's really changed out here um, I think out here though, I might have added a table and chairs. I can't remember if I did that earlier. But yeah, there's a table and chairs out here so you can sit and enjoy the view. Also, you could probably put some plant boxes out here if you wanted. I've also got a plant pot. I haven't worked out how to put seeds into this yet. I'm a bit confused by this. Um, I'm also confused by the plant boxes down here. I put a seed in. And it's watered, but it's not growing anything, so I don't really know what's going on there. And yeah, guys, that is it for today, so do comment down below if you found this video helpful. Smash the like button and consider subscribing. It's completely free, and you'll be helping me out a ton. Also, do check out my ARC videos. I do ARC building videos on this channel. That is what my main content is, so do check it out. Love you guys, Steph, and I'll see you in the next video.